What's up guys and welcome to today's video where we're going to be going over how to unlock your 30 series LHR cards to get their maximum potential. So to preface this video, I did not find this out. All props go to Red Fox Crypto Mining. I'll put his YouTube channel and the video down below. I also found this on Reddit earlier today, saw the news, thought it was amazing. So I'll link all of that stuff down below. Props to these guys for figuring it all out. But, um, but essentially, T-Rex Miner dropped an update today that allows for dual mining. Back like in the old days where you would mine with Claymore and dual mine Ethereum and Decred, it's kind of like that, except with some weird LHR uh, trickery for the graphics card. I believe it may switch to one and then to the other, or maybe it's dual mining both at the same time, which is kind of what it actually looks like because the hash rates in both are reduced. So essentially what this exploit or new version of the T-Rex miner does is it allows every 30 series LHR card to hash at 100% hash divided in two coins. So there are three options out there right now that they come out with and all of them mine Ethereum at 30% of your normal hash rate. So uh, what was tested was a 3080 Ti, and I believe he was getting 40 mega hash. Now, I have tested it with my 3080, and it does work, um, but what he was getting was he was dual mining Ergo and Ethereum, and he was getting 40 mega hashes on Ethereum, and I think like 170 mega hashes on Ergo. Now, that would be 30% Ethereum hash rate, 30% of the card's supposed Ethereum hash rate, because the 3080 Ti should have a higher than the 3080 hash rate, somewhere in between a 3080 and a 3090. So what this does is 30% of that theoretical hash rate goes over to Ethereum and you get your 40 mega hashes. It's almost like running a 3060. And then you get the other put into one of the other three algorithms available, and those currently is Conflux, the uh, Ergo algorithm, or my personal favorite is gonna be Ravencoin. So I'm gonna be testing that on some of my LHR cards that I have. I have a bunch of the LHR 3060s, so I'm gonna try them out with that, and they're gonna go ahead and mine Ethereum and Ravencoin because in my belief, I think Ravencoin is the strongest contender out of all of these three. So I'm gonna probably hold on to a lot of that Ravencoin and not just dump it as uh, some of the other people may wanna do. I, that's my opinion. If you guys wanna sell both of it and just make maximum profit every day, you are more than welcome to. So when we were looking at like the profitability, we're going from about $5.90-ish to about $6 and maybe 20 to 15 cents. Uh, and that will vary a lot. That'll vary dependent on your Ergo price, the Ravencoin price, or the Conflux price. So depending on which one of these you wanna mine, you might wanna see what 70% of that hash rate, plug it into whattomine.com, and you can see exactly which dual mining setup is gonna make you the most money per day. But this effectively makes a LHR card more profitable than it used to be. Now, it might not be as profitable as if the LHR card was fully unlocked for Ethereum, but as we all know, Ethereum is going the way of the dinosaur when it comes to mining sometime within the next year. So with that being said, this is gonna be a great transition period over into mining some other cryptocurrencies. Hopefully it also increases the value of those cryptocurrencies as now there are more people mining and we won't see massive difficulty spikes once Ethereum, and we won't see massive difficulty spikes once Ethereum actually switches to 100% proof of stake. So that being said, I think this is pretty awesome. It breathes new life into the LHR cards that people were trying to get rid of and get the non-LHR cards because they were significantly more profitable. 
So now, yes, they still are more profitable, but these LHR cards are coming into their own category where if you can buy it, it's probably worth mining with, especially now that you're gonna get two coins while you're mining, increasing your profitability, that bottom line, the reason that 90% of us probably mine. Granted, there's some people that like to mine just to support the blockchains, but unlike them, a lot of us do it for the profit, and this increases your profit by roughly four to five percent and potentially even higher depending on the other algorithms. If Ravencoin suddenly jumps up in price, you're probably mining a significant amount more money per day. Now, if it jumps up high enough, you might actually wanna switch over to just mining. And just a heads up for any of you guys out there that are mining Ravencoin, there will be a split or a halvening as it's called, which will increase the difficulty of getting coin because it's going to decrease the amount of coins that are being thrown out as a block reward. And so just like Bitcoin, that usually caused a bull run. Now I can't say that's gonna happen with Ravencoin and the price of Ravencoin is gonna double, but historically on Bitcoin, something like that has happened. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed with some Raven that I mined back in the day. And uh, thanks for stopping by and watching this video. If you guys found it helpful, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're almost at a thousand subs, so that would be really cool. And make sure to go and check out the other guy's video. Thanks to him, we have this video. So make sure to go like his video. He does pretty great work. I've seen quite a few of his videos already. And uh, I'm happy to say that he's pretty good. So go check him out and we'll catch you guys in the next one.